everyone, James Mansfield here on the scene at Hamburger Mary's Milwaukee for this episode two of Camp Wanakiki. <laughs> we are in for a treat. We have an interview today with Milwaukee's own Dear Ruthie. Just keep on watching and it's coming right up. <laughs> I'm James Mantu on the scene in the Camp Wanakiki Rec Room. My special guest today is Miss Dear Ruthie. Hi, Ruthie. Hi, Sugar Booger. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm fabulous after that episode, but I'm fabulous. What a sad episode. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, and I won't tell you who went home. You're going to have to watch it and find out. Click that link down below and see. Uh, Ruthie, I have to ask, what is a wilderness survival tip you can tell us? A wilderness survival tip I can tell you is to make a lot of money so you don't have to go on vacation camping. Anything you can give us for glamping it up? Glamping up, you can always glamp up your camp, girl. It's very easy, and I would say vodka. <laughs> All right, and for those of you who don't know who dear Ruthie is, she is a legend here in the Milwaukee scene. And I've always wondered, Ruthie, where did your name come from? Um, I got the name Ruthie from the actress Ruth Gordon, who was known in a lot of the, um, she's an older actress, and she was really big in the Any Which Way You Can movies with Clint Eastwood. So I used to go into bars and impersonate Ruth Gordon, and people would say, Ruthie, Ruthie, do Ruthie, do Ruth Gordon, so then I would do it. I love it, and Ruth Gordon also rose Mary's baby, Harold and Maude, yes. <laughs> Oscar winner. And Dear Ruthie here is no slouch when it comes to acting. She is a thespian, is that what it's called? Is we'll that where you're it, leaning? We'll call it that today, sure. <laughs> Now, Ruthie, I have to ask, what is something you can give those youngins out there that makes a great camp queen that's just starting out? What advice would you give someone? I would say be funny, be wild, and don't worry about anything that anybody thinks. You just be you. Absolutely right, Ruthie. Now, I have to ask, do you have anything coming up at Hamburger Mary's that we should be aware of or anything that dear Ruthie has to plug for us all? Well, I do. I'm here every Thursday for Ham Bingo at Hamburger Mary's Milwaukee. And then we have our fabulous Silence of the Clams, which is a parody of a great Jodie Foster movie, or so they tell me. I've never seen it. So Silence of the Clams in late October. Really? You've never seen Silence of the Lambs? What? I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds like a copyrighted piece to me. All right, hon. Now I have to ask. We're going to play a little game here. Are you familiar with F. Mary Kill? Oh, I am. <laughs> Let's have Ruthie get a little dirty. Let's see. F. Mary Kill, Say Kevi, the J.J. Snapping Turtle, or Pagan Holiday. Oh, F. Mary Kill. That sounds like my autobiography. <laughs> um, F. Mary Kill. I would have to say I would F the JJ, because as a boy, she's pretty hot. Gorgeous. So I would F the JJ. I would marry um, Say Cave, because she's very fun and very stable and very normal in real life. And I would kill Pagan Holiday, because she's a whore. <laughs> Great choice, darling. I love it. A lady yes. that knows her answers. <laughs> Now, can you tell me a little bit of your experiences as a camp counselor at Camp Wanakiki? You are an authority figure there. Absolutely. I was sort of the Edmund Garrett Girl! of the camp. I was sort of the, the Mrs. Garrett, the facts of life lady, the redhead of the camp. I kept the girls in, in, in place during Camp Wanakiki. And I will say that they were all really good. They really listened to me. Everybody was delightful, although they're a little boy crazy after three or four days of being trapped together in one cabin. They got a little crazy, so we kind of had to bring them in a bit. Other than that, it was fabulous. Oh my goodness, boy crazy. But it's a bunch of girls there. Were they like hitchhiking the town to find boys? Well, you can imagine, it's called Camp Wanakiki, not Camp Wanakai Kai. Ah! <laughs> All right, Ruthie, where else can we find Dear Ruthie online or in print, anything? You can find me every single week in Shepherd Express newspaper. I have a column called Hear Me out. I answer advice from the lovelorn. I answer advice from prisoners and from crazy people. And they tell you what's going on in Milwaukee, in the Midwest, events that you may not know about. That's every single week in Shepherd Express. 
Oh, that's absolutely. She is the dear Abby of Milwaukee, folks. Dear Drabby, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> or just call her Dear Ruth. And where can we find you online, darling? What are your handles? You can find me at Ruthie Keister. That's my last name on Facebook. My fan page is Dear Ruthie. And then you can find me at Dear Ruthie on Instagram. And just one more thing before we go, Ruthie. Have you ever thought about a different hair color? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm a redhead through and through. Granted, the uh, the curtains don't really match the carpet anymore. I kind of had hardwood floors down there. But other than that, I'm a redhead till the day I die. Oh my goodness. Well, they say blondes have more fun. What do redheads do? Redheads remember it the next day. <laughs> Thank you so much, dear Ruthie. Oh, I love you so much, sweetheart. I love you too. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm a lesbian now. Cap on a kai kai. All right, this is James Mansell on the scene signing off. Click here and watch my on the scene with Sylvia Nix. Or watch my interview with Aubrey Del Mar and Omega. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll leak your OnlyFans password. Just click it.